Hi, I'm Donovan Keith, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of hierarchy in Cinema 4D and how you can arrange objects to more easily manipulate them. So uh, the first thing I want to check as I'm working is that I'm in uh, model or object mode and that I've got my move tool selected. And I'm using a simple example project here, three stacked boxes version one. So in the objects manager, we've got three different objects, uh, each of these three different uh, sort of cubes. And we can see that the order sort of visually top to bottom here matches the order top to bottom here. So we've got a small box, a medium box, and a large box. And currently there's no relationship between these boxes. There's an implied sort of visual relationship. They look like they're resting on each other, but there's no actual relationship. So if I, for example, select this top box and click and drag, I can move it around. Uh, and I'm just gonna hit Control or Command Z to undo. If I click on my bottom box and drag around, there is no relationship between the bottom box and the boxes above it. Now, if I want to create a relationship between them, what I can do is drag one object, let's say this medium object, inside of another object. And I know that I'm about to create a relationship because my cursor is changed to this downward facing arrow. If it was going to insert beside it, you'd see just that sort of horizontal line. So now if I click and drag my medium box, there's still no relationship that I can see. Now, if I hit undo and select my small box and click and drag, you'll see that there is a relationship and they sort of uh, go together. And this is sort of like uh, the hierarchy that you'd find in a file system on your computer, like in Explorer or um, not recalling the Windows version of that right now. Um, and so the objects that are at the top sort of contain and carry with them the objects down below. So in addition to manipulation or movement, I can rotate and have these sort of come together and I can even scale them up together. I'm gonna again hit undo a couple times to get things a little bit more back to normal. Now uh, you can sometimes end up in a confusing situation like say I now uh, have large as my parent most object. That seems to be behaving as we'd expect. They're all sort of coming together. And then this middle object though, seems like it's unrelated to the other two until I move the top again. And that's because the order of these elements uh, is sort of jumbled up. So you wanna make sure that you're going from sort of uh, not always biggest to smallest, but anything that depends on something else should sort of be the child of that thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust my hierarchy so that it goes from the big box on the bottom and then I'm gonna drag in my medium box so that those two are moving as a unit. And then I'm gonna drag in my small box so that those are all again moving together. So now large is controlling medium and small. And you can get something uh, sort of like this.